We now turn to a major developing story out of Glastonbury. A man stabbed during an altercation at a gymnastics event over the weekend. Yeah, and new information coming in overnight. Let's go out to News 8. Sit Natasha Lubchenko live for us in Glastonbury with what we've learned. Good morning, Natasha. Laura Keith, good morning to you. The stabbing took place right here outside of the town's academy building. It was around 1130 Sunday morning when that police call came in. What we do know is that there, the suspect and the victim, they were both attending a gymnastics event here and that there was a connection between the two. The suspect and the victim, uh, we believe, knew each other. Uh, they're not from this community, but they came into this community uh, for the event. Now, as of the, this morning, Glastonbury police have now located the suspect. They arrested 52-year-old Marcus McDaniel shortly before 10 p.m. last night. An arrest warrant was obtained for McDaniel on charges including criminal attempt murder, breach of peace, and risk of injury to a minor. Now, here's the breakdown of Sunday's incident. Glastonbury police say they received a report of an altercation around 11.30 in the morning. When officers arrived, they found one man with what appeared to be two stab wounds. Police say the victim was conscious and talking to officers then transported to a local hospital and then he went underwent surgery his condition unknown as of this morning and it's also unclear exactly what led to the incident but the good news is that no children at this event were harmed although they did have to cancel the rest of the gymnastics event police also don't believe that there's any additional threat to the community at this time now McDaniel he did turn himself in he is on one million dollars bond he is expected back in court today Manchester Superior Court. So this is something we will continue to follow and update you here on air and online at WTNH.com. Live in Glastonbury this morning, I'm Natasha Lubchenko. Keith and Laura, back to you.